Welcome to my studio. Um, I've had to move inside today because it's quite windy so I couldn't film outside. But hopefully it'll work out okay. Um, I hope you want to give this tutorial a go. Let me know in the comments how you found it. If it's possible to follow along or if you feel like I skipped a couple of steps I will try to help you figure out what what's missing. Welcome to this tutorial on how you can make a fish tank from a cardboard box basically. What you start with is any type of cardboard box you have. I have one here from cat food or one that had a bread mix in. You can even use a an avocado box. And first thing you do is cut out one of the sides. With a knife. And then you paint the inside blue. Like I have here. You can paint it brown at the bottom or glue some sand on, doesn't matter. You choose. And then you make some fish, like this one. Basically draw a fish shape on a piece of cardboard. It can be the piece you cut out of the box, like this, it will be the front of it. But I like the color of this from a Kleenex box. And if you want the same, same color on the other side, just make two of these and glue them together. Like I, I did here. Can I see it? I used one of these glue sticks to glue my fish together. Then it's time to add some seaweed. This was made out of cardstock. This over here. Let's see if you can see it. Not really. This was cut out of the front of the box. It's just you just cut some pointy bits and then you paint it. Unless you use cardstock like this. It's already got sea seaweedy kind of color. And you can also paint your fish. So I did this one with pen. And that one's just Kleenex, Kleenex box color. These are all colored with pen. And to make this little seahorse extra special, I covered it in nail varnish. I had a lot of gold glitter nail varnish, so I just covered this in it, make it a little extra special. I also used some nail varnish to make the sea seaweed more green and the rock a bit glittery in there. So basically you just use what you have in, sorry, in your house. And this, this little guy is from 
a Capri Sun juice box. And I only just drew black on it. Ooh. You had that eye thing when I pulled the piece of cardboard off the box. And it just looked like an eye to me, so I made him to a fish. That's the other side of him. And you see the seaweed down there, made from the same box. And I've used black string to sew the fish on, so they can swim around. You have this little avocado avocado box fish tank. You can see where I hung the the fish with the string up here. We have this little eel. Fat fish from one of my bread boxes. I have a lot of those. Now this the fancier option. It's a fun little activity to do with your kids or on your own. If you're bored these days, give it a go. I know a lot of people are really getting bored and fed up with quarantine and lockdowns and what have you. Um, I've been quite busy making videos and trying to think of content for my YouTube and my f works Facebook page where I share tutorials with the kids and bedtime stories and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, give it a go. I also forgot to say stay positive. Do your absolute best to keep a positive mindset through this because you can easily drag yourself down if you pay too much attention, attention to all the negativity out there. So try to stay positive. Surround yourself with positivity on your social media pages and look for the good in people instead of being dragged down by negativity.